It is talk just gone five to uh, just gone ten to three. Uh, some breaking news: the depart over in the states, the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General says it is investigating the U.S. Secret Service's handling of security for former President Donald Trump on the day a gunman tried to assassinate him at that rally in Pennsylvania. I should flipping well hope somebody is investigating that. I mean, that seems even to the untrained eye the most extraordinary, inept uh, response prior to a man firing a gun and all what looks like uh, quite a lot of growing evidence that somebody somewhere might have spotted something was afoot. Uh, but they're going to have a look into it and see about the hand. It, it, heads will roll on this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's go back to a subject connected to what I was just ranting about there, uh, but this certainly brings into some sharp focus where we're at. Companies will be able to legally block trans women from taking jobs intended only for women following a ruling by the Equalities Watchdog. This is the Equality and Human Rights Commission said that if an employer wanted to advertise for a woman-only job, that must only mean biological women or and here I think is the contentious point, those who've received a gender recognition certificate. It would therefore be discriminatory to extend the definition of woman to men who self-identify as women. Let's speak to Helen Joyce, Director of Advocacy at Sex Matters. Uh, Helen, good afternoon to you. Hi. Nice to have you with us. I mean, I don't want to put words into your mouth, but would I be right in saying the, uh, the, the biolog gender recognition certificate might be the troublesome part of this uh, conclusion? Absolutely. I mean, it's actually the, the real story here is that the EHRC didn't say anything about this years ago. Campaigners like us and Fair Play for Women have been drawing their attention to ads saying this job is restricted to women, meaning everyone who identifies as a woman. But you can't discriminate in job ads except in certain specified circumstances. You can't advertise saying we only want men or we only want women, you know, we only want a waitress, except if the job requires that. So it's a bra fitter or someone who's doing, you know, cervical smears or something like that. But why on earth would a piece of paper turn a man into someone who's suitable for that job? Yes. So the EHRC has both been really dilatory in cracking down on these ridiculous job ads that are clearly unlawful and have been clearly unlawful for years. So, OK, you know, one cheer for finally doing something about that now. But on the second one, like, you know, if, if a man isn't suitable to do a job, the government can't give him a piece of paper that makes him suitable to do the job. So we think they've got that wrong. Now, there's a court case later this year for Women's Scotland are taking, and that will um, further look at the question of the definition of sex in the Equality Act. And if it says anything other than sex means really your sex, then we have a big problem here. Yeah. Because here we've got, if I'm reading this correctly, Helen, um, I, if I suddenly say I'm a woman, then I will not be allowed to apply for the job as the bra fitter. But if I've gone through a couple of weeks of um, form filling and got my recognition certificate, I could go for the job as the bra fitter. Yeah, I mean, the certificate costs you a fiver. You have to just show paperwork. You don't turn up in person. The only serious requirement of it is that you've got to get a requirement saying you suffer from gender dysphoria, which is the fancy name for being miserable with being a man. But I mean, what difference does that make to women if you're doing bra fitting? It's absurd. Yeah. I think the people who passed these laws just somehow had in their mind that it was possible to actually change sex, that you could turn you into someone who was indistinguishable from an actual woman. We know that's not possible. And if a woman objects to men in a specific space, no government certificate can make her not object to him. So there's a separate, very complicated thing that you can do as an employer, which is to say that you will use a separate exception and you will exclude people who do have gender recognition recognition certificates. But this is all madness. No one understands this law. The HRC should just say, yes, people can get gender recognition certificates. No, that doesn't magically turn you into somebody that, you know, is fine to do things like, you know, intimate exams or to run a rape crisis centre. Obviously, sex has to mean sex in places like that. And that, you know, that's, that's what it should always have meant. I mean, I'm tempted to say, Helen, why are we why are we even talking about this, you know? I mean, you must ask yourself that question every day. It's like, this is, it, it, it's like something from a kind of weird dystopian movie, isn't it? That we are, here we are, battling out these nuances and these, you know, well, you know, should, a, should a bloke be able to walk into a woman's job? Well, of, of course he shouldn't. Should a bloke be able to say, I'm a woman and therefore I, Ian Collins, am exactly the same as Helen Joyce because I've got my certificate. We have therefore the same backstory, the same understanding, the same history, the same um, 
uh, innate thinking, on, on matters of our gender. I mean, I mean it's just bonkers. And it, in any other world, it would just be funny. You could have this in a, one of those kind of airplane-like movies from years back, and we'd be laughing at it. But this is the real world we're living in, and it's actually happening. Yeah, it happened while we weren't looking. There was a tiny band of very, very determined campaigners who really were very keen on the idea that you could change sex legally and that you would be able to enforce that on everybody else. Yeah. And they managed to fool legislators who weren't listening carefully into thinking, oh, they just mean for the you know, for government things, sure. for pensions, for what it says in your marriage cert. And instead, here we are. We weren't looking. We were asleep at the wheel. We were indeed. Listen, Helen, always great to get your take on these things. Uh, we will catch up again as this uh, develops more, particularly on that uh, Scotland element of this confusing... <laughs> shouldn't be a confusing story. Fairly straightforward stuff, isn't it? Uh, this is just basic biological fact, the sort of thing we should be encouraged to teach kids rather than the school that I mentioned uh, about 10 minutes ago.